Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to a bone-chilling 26-degree Tuesday, the 29th of January. And I hear chainsaws just going buck wily out there. And I hear machinery. We know what that is. That is that. That is the destruction of, of somebody's property. I'm telling you, the people cutting the trees down around here is like almost to epidemic levels. It's going to look like a desert out here when they're done. And all these people that are collecting their quick, quick buck because we're selling all our trees overseas are all going to go, oh, all the trees are cut down. Yeah, in my lifetime I won't see them again. It's nope. too long to grow them. Crazy. Yeah. All right. Let's head on out. Buddy. All right. It's nice and warm in here. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Man, this is just what you need in 20 degree weather. Frozen fog. Well, little woman, yes, shockingly sir. made it to 43 degrees here in Vancouver. That's a lot warmer than home. That is a crazy, crazy temperature swing. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to head on down to the dungeon and start my day. You have a good day. Try to catch up the water. All righty. Love you. See you. Bye. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye. Check it out. Another stereo metallic mat. R9T Scrambler stuff man is it beautiful out here today man oh man look at this day you guys remember the stereo metallic matte kind of a bluish sort of color this is another one I know I've taken you on a ride before but why not take another one <laughs> when it's cool, it's just cool. Let's see what this little Honda's gonna do. This is the Scrambler, 2019 R9T Scrambler. These are those kind of bikes that you would just make up excuses to take off for a little bit. Just go for a goof off ride. I would ride one of these things like, you know, like my iron or whatever. I just go goofing off. This one's got the uh, Metzler Carew 5050 tires on it, so you could uh, you could do do some some light off roading. It is a scrambler, so it's meant to kind of do whatever you want to with it. I would absolutely take this thing off road. I wouldn't do anything crazy, obviously. Not a dirt bike. This is that wonderful like whining sound the tranny and the drivetrain make very pleasing I picked up all kinds of garbage on that one I guarantee you slowly let the tires sling it off <laughs> and that sound ah, so pleasing The weather is as nice where you're at as it is here. It's got to be in the low 50s. Heck, even Toledo today was supposed to be 52 or 53, I think I read. Beautiful day, riding on a beautiful BMW. Does it get a whole lot better than this? I love these 
K2X motors, you know, they just got that little bit of a rumble to them. If you flip them, you know, it, you get the, the flip to the right. Love it. And you feel the, you know, the suspension's kind of stiff. You feel the rumble through the bars and the seat, little in the pegs. And you're going, yeah, this is a real motorcycle. can hear them tires howl. I love it. I do not love these things. They just have such a cool kind of standard motorcycle look to them, you know? It's just overwhelmingly pleasing. <laughs> I think I might come up with a little thumbnail here right quick. How about that? Get a little some decent lighting here. Get her at the right angle. So uh, you guys want where do I have it? You wanna watch me uh watch me do a thumbnail? walk you through it here right quick make this fast so I'm not using up a bunch of video time on it Osmo don't let the Osmo fly off your seat yeah. so we want to kick that back just a little bit and I have the uh, the Osmo set at a uh, raw plus jpeg you want some good meat for it uh, line her up somewhat good there this osmo takes some crazy good pictures for a, a little small sensor like that let's turn her just a little bit yeah that's looking all right right there fire a couple at it here to make sure you got something to work with here that's it motorcycle man this is a day you play hooky on what drives me nuts is this time of year is you'll get these days during the week and then you look so forward to the weekend to go for a nice little ride and then the weather changes for the weekend this weekend it's just flat supposed to rain and not that they can predict the weather that far ahead the following weekend which is um, Saturday the 9th to be specific is the day that we're uh, gonna ride Indians to the uh, to the one show in Portland the one motorcycle show it's supposed to rain but that's 
all kinds of stuff could change by the time that gets here. And wouldn't you know it, the door is wide open until I need to come through. Anyway, I'm going to park this one downstairs. Alright. Thank you guys for coming along for a rip on an R9T Scrambler. Is that cool or what? I love that tan seat on there. It just fits it. It just fits this bike. Alright. Don't know if you guys can see that out there in the background with the old Osmo pocket. But that right there is Mount Hood. This guy thinks he's going to come through here. Well, the woman, how's your little day going? It's going good. How's yours? Good. John comes walking by. That's our owner, John, comes walking by and says, uh, what are you doing here? So, yeah, that's a good day to play hooky because that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking I got a fever coming on. I took an R9T scrambler for a ride, and it was, like, a tough deal to come back. I know. <laughs> if I had a full tank, I might have just bailed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I gotta go print some stuff off. Alright. So Ryan's uncrating a, a crate of Rikers. I don't know if they're 600s or 900s yet. But if any of you dealers watch, I'm gonna show you something that could cost you a lot of money if you don't heed this warning. We did it to one side of the very first one we put together. I'll show you here once he gets this apart. So these are 900 rallies. So I was going to show you, as these things come, you know, if you haven't put them together yet, there's plastic pieces that bolt the front end down to the crate. Leave that bag on and leave that bag laying over there until you get that fender on. That thing has an edge on it that will scratch the top of those A-arms really bad if you don't have some kind of protection over there. Way we know that, I, done I know, that's why I said we learned it the first time. The only straps up here are on the inner part of the frame. These are all just exposed, so leave those on there until you get them fenders because you got to manipulate those things in there in a weird way. And then, like I say, they're sharp enough, they'll scratch the crap out of the A arms. This is held down with that and then the strap going to this inner frame piece that's uh, covered with bodywork. You don't see that once it's together. But those janky looking things, <laughs> they're kind of hard to get off. But when you take this fender off of its shipping mount, that mount is discarded and then the fender goes down and bolts to the hub just like the spider line does. But when you're negotiating these two arms through the, um, or stays for the fender through the A-arms, that'll scratch the heck out of them. You only do it once, though. <laughs> so, essentially, that's what they look like prior to, um, the beginning of assembling. He's taken out, you know, the boxes and the front wheels and all that stuff and now you go through the procedure of releasing it from its oh still got the wheels on this side but from here you start assembling them sure is cool look at that there's a lot of light in there you can see that 900 triple pretty good in there one fun 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 vehicle Feel like a go kart's best way to explain it. <laughs> cool. Well, woman, it ain't so bright out here when you're leaving at quarter to six. But there's still some light out there, at least. Yeah. The old truck, it's auto run long since turned off. <laughs> All right, mama. Ready for Let's you. head for the hill, shall we? All right, thank you. All right. Well, hello there, you two. Welcome to another goodbye vlog. In the car. From the automobile. Where it's warm. <laughs> yep, nice and warm. Uh, a little better tonight. It's 36 tonight instead of 34, I think it was last night. Something yeah. like that. 
it will probably be another another cold, cold night. I didn't look at the weather. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Uh, no rain's like coming. Today. I don't know. Come with all this cold weather, it's not come down. You know, we haven't got snow not one time. No. That we that one time driving to work, it was trickling and hitting the windshield. That was it. It's the only snow we've seen this year. We may luck so out. So all you guys any. back east and northeast are the ones getting all wiped out. In the or Midwest, they, I guess, too, is getting it too. Yeah. So crazy. I'm, I'm glad we're over here. Yeah. It's still cold for, to for me. once. I it's nice. I don't like being cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's not as cold as you guys. But man, was it nice today. Oh, it was so pretty. I don't know so what it got up to. But man, it had to be close to 60. <laughs> Doors are open. Nobody's wearing coats. Everybody's running around t shirts and felt yeah. good. But the sun started to go down, and all of a sudden, it's like somebody flipped the temperature switch. Oh, yeah. Like all the doors shut. Everybody's getting their coats on. It's yeah. Crazy. It's just like, dang. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Yeah, yeah. It was going. Alrighty. So, I reckon we're going to roll out on you. Call her a day. Call her a day. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Wednesday or Thursday. Yep. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Yes. We'll see you now. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.